Hello friends, welcome to the Safety Hands channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about static electricity. Static electricity is an important topic in an oil and gas industries. In the oil and gas industries, certain processes are known to generate and store static electricity. And it is also known as electrostatic energy. In a flammable or explosive atmosphere, a discharge of static electricity can be da dangerous because it can become an ignition source. If it is not properly controlled, it may lead to the dangerous situation. Now we will see what causes static electricity. Static electricity is electric charges that build up on the insulator and uh, it will be created just by rubbing or by any friction. These charges once build up will not move freely. So which is why it is called a static electricity. Now we will see where does static electricity comes from. We all know atoms are all around us and it has got electric charges. The outermost part of the atom is called electrons and it is negatively charged. And the center part, which is a nucleus of the atom is called protons and it is positively charged. An atom has an equal number of positive and negative energy which will be in balance. So there will be no overall electric charges. Electrons do not stay in one place. It tends to move here and there by just rubbing and friction. Now we will see how the static charges build up. Static charges build up in an insulation material just by rubbing together, just like a plastic comb moving through the hair. Friction between these material causes the electrons to be transferred from one material to other. One material ends up with more electrons, which is negative charge, and the other material which will ends up with less amount of electrons and it is got an overall positive charge. Now we will see how can static charges be created. Friction is the major role of creating a static charge. If an insulator is rubbed with the cloth, it can become charged in two ways. In this diagram, if you see, if we rub this insulator with this cloth, either the electron moves from the cloth to the insulator, in which case the insulator ends up with an overall negative charge. Or in the second diagram, it is clearly shown that electrons move from the insulator to the cloth. The insulator ends up with the overall positive charge. We'll now see what are the forces between the charges. What happens when two positively charged rods placed near to each other? So it reacts just like a magnet. In magnet, like poles ripple each other and unlike poles attract each other, which means if we bring together two positively charged rod or two negatively charged rod, it ripple each other. If we bring together one of the positive and the negative, it attracts each other. So it uh, reacts just like a basic magnet. So we will now see the prevention of static electricity. In an oil and gas industries and uh, any petrol pumps, this principle always applies. We used to give earthing and bonding in all the tanks and uh, wherever the oil supplies are being done, usually to nullify the static electricity, earthing or bonding should be provided to avoid any dangerous situations because it may create fire or explosion instantly in any flammable or an explosive atmosphere. That's all in this video, friends. If you have any comments on what I have just explained so far, kindly comment me down. I'll be happy to explain you back. Kindly like, and share and subscribe my channel to get uh, my new videos. Thank you.